Welcome back, everybody, to the Preacher Plays Boulder's Gate. Pretty much exactly where you left me. I've done a little bit of inventory management, although not a whole lot, to be quite honest. I am weighing up the possibilities that I might want to take a rest because I think Gale used up some spells and he's got some hill healing to do. And, um, and I've got plenty of supplies, but... Before I do that, I do want to replace Will. And I think in order to do that, what is tenacity? I can deal one bludgeoning damage. Anyhow, I think I need to go up here and tell mm, this lady, Lizelle. Oh, we got a question mark here with, uh, what's this? Uh, Withers has a, <laughs> Withers has a question or a exclamation point for us to, that is quite the dummy you've got set up there. Okay. Lizelle. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. It's, um... Uh... Funny you should say that. Let's see. But you look so unusual. Githyanki are rare in these parts. You know how much... About mind flayers, wait for me in camp. That's probably what we're going to end up doing here in just a minute, but let me ask. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each right. crash contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself that we may gain total understanding. All right. I mean, that's 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 nice. That kind of wisdom is very valuable. Very valuable. Val valuable. I'm sorry. Uh, books are valuable, as are those who write them. Total understanding. Absolute nonsense. Um, let's say. Well, I know this. Not books, but slates. Wisdom so profound it is etched into stone. Truth as perfect as the queen who decreed it. Okay. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. Mm -hmm. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. Well, all righty then. I'm curious if she knows anything about Mind Flayers. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. That is a strange It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. And you do well to stay here in camp where your attitude can stew. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? As you say... Do not keep me waiting. I do not like her at all. I'm not sure what happened. I just heard coins jingle jangle. Um, I'm not, I'm not bringing her along, but I would like to have it. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Mm. Nope, I guess I'm leaving. All right, uh, let's go recruit Will. And then I will come back and chat up Withers. Not Gale, Will. All right, there, Will. Let's have our little chat. Well met. Now, let's see here. Let's find out about number three first. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Neither of which are clearly present. As a cleric, channel the power of the gods they worship, building potent magic and acting as a representative of divine authority. Tiny groove spider across the eye's surface. It resembles a sending stone. Used to confer with distant contacts. Hmm. A sending stone. <laughs> Not 
Nothing so special, I assure you. His breathing quickens, his jaw tenses. Will is keeping something from you. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Hmm. I don't want to create a problem just yet, but I do have the wisdom key here. Oh, I only need two? And I've got three, so this is a... This is a done deal. Interesting that it was only a class two difficulty. I'm 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 not sure where these numbers are made what up. What are you? A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Your right eye vibrates, and a woman's voice echoes in your head. I've a sweet tooth. Ah. The devil's on the menu. Beyond the voice, you find only shadow. Piece of Will's mind locked away from intruders. Keep out of my mind. I told you the eyes are rock, nothing more. And that's the end of it. Alright, well, he didn't like me. That's fine. Uh, how does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing the devil in hells? Well, let's go there. And then he can fires us. raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the arch devils, Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. I think we should try to deal with that. I'm curious about that. A powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. I can respect that, as a matter of fact. All right. Anything more we should discuss? Well, as long as you're going to give me the My opportunity. My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. I can certainly respect that. Number one... I'm interested in number three as well. Proud. No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Hmm. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. Ooh, I should go with that. Um, how great could you be? I've never heard of you. That's a bad idea. And before that, let's do this. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. Well, that's the spirit. All right, now he's got some leveling up to do. So I guess... I guess. Oh yeah, we gotta level him up, and then we gotta go talk to Withers, and then we need to get on with examining the Tiefling hideout. Warlock level two. Gained a couple of passives. I've got some choices pending. He's a level two warlock. He's a warlock? Not a swordsman? I'm a little confused here. Um, okay. Well, let's see here. We got health increased to 17. He's still below me. Does, does he get another level up? I'm curious. All right, let's do spells. And what would be super cool here? Uh, necrotic. Make your attacks deal an additional 1 to 6 necrotic damage. And give it a disadvantage on ability of your choosing. Ooh. I kind of hellish rebuke. React to your next attacker with flames that deal 2 to 20 fire damage. Oh, <laughs> Man. 
Expeditious Retreat Command. Um, want this one or this one? I, I kind of want to see this one. So, why is okay? I'm double clicking accidentally, and Eldritch Invocations. In your study of occult lore, you have unearthed Eldritch Invocations, fragments of forbidden knowledge that imbue you with an abiding magical prowess. I get two of these. When you cast Eldritch Blast, add your Charisma modifier to the damage it deals. What is my Charisma? 17? Armor of Shadows. Cast Mage Armor on yourself at will without expending a spell slot. That's actually... I think that's going to be super useful all the way through. So we're going to do that. Beast Speech. Well, hold on a second. Beguiling Influence. Without expending a spell slot. You gain proficiency in deception. Devil's Sight. You can normally, you can see normally in darkness, both magical and non-magical, to a distance of 80 feet. Could be very handy in the future. Fiendish Vigor. Mask of Many Faces, disguising yourself, one with the shadows. Repelling Blast. When you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push the creature 15 feet. A thief of five fates. Cast Bane, using a Warlock spell slot. Targets up to three, and they get... Oh, man. Okay. I am... I'm inclined to go with the Beast Speech. That seems like it could be handy. But seeing in darkness... Man, oh 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 man, You know what? I'm just going to make a choice, and I'm going to do that. How about replacing a spell? Oh. I don't have it. The amount of spells you can have fixed in your mind is limited. I don't have one. Armor of Agathus. Wait a minute. Or Arms of Hadar. Prevent targets from using reactions. Targets still take half damage, but are able to use... Reactions. Can only have temporary hit points from one source. Um, that's a damaging spell. We're going to go with that. And confirm it. And change. Wait. Wait. So am I getting rid of this one now? And then I'm going to add this one? I think that's what I'm doing. Um, let's go ahead and add... I can command. Let's try this. I want to see what... Yeah, I want to see what this one does. Confirm. All right. I guess I'm replacing that with that. It's still 1 to 6, 2d6. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to change it. I kind of want to go back to where it was. Confirm. Can I not just... I guess I can't have that one anymore. Interesting. All right, well, let's just accept it. There he is. He's now level 3, 24. Gained another passive. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, got some hit points. Initiative, plus 1. Charisma, 17. Opportunity attack. Dark Blessing. Civil Militia. Ooh, weapon proficiency. Okay. All right, back to learning a spell. Ooh, Cloud of Daggers. Once again, seems like a super useful one. As does... As does... Several of these. Hold on. Okay, this one is pretty intriguing. Mirror image, each three illusory duplicates of yourself that distract attackers. Each duplicate increases your armor class by three. That can be really handy. Handy. A bonus action. Oh, I need to pay attention to whether these are actions or bonus actions as well. That's a bonus action. Misty Step. You teleport to an unoccupied space you can see. Oh, that right there seems super useful at a given moment. Your patron bestows a gift upon you for your loyal service. Pact of the Chain. Gain the service of a familiar. That takes the form of your choosing. This can be an animal imp or... Was it? Pact of the blade. You can summon a pact weapon or bind the one you're wielding, making it magical. Pact of the tome. Your patron grants you a grimoire called the Book of Shadows, which allows you to cast guidance, vicious mockery, and 
Thorn Whip. Thorn Whip sounds fun. Um, I don't know what benefit that would be. I'm going with the Tome. And uh, definitely going to use its Salted Creature. It has disadvantage on its next roll. That's weird. What does this one do? Bind your main hand weapon. Its damage becomes magical. You cannot drop or throw it, and you become proficient with it if you weren't already. Until a long rest. Pact of the Blade. Summon a weapon to your hand. It uses the wielder's spellcasting ability modifier, which I have no idea what it is. Int is 13, so is that a Pact of the Chain? Summon a familiar. Find a familiar. Hmm. Sting enemies. Scare enemies. A closet. I don't... Can I see what a closet is? No? Oh, permanent. 60 feet. Hmm. Permanent, permanent. I... Okay, which one of those seems like the most useful? Well, it's either Pact of the Chain or Pact of the Tome. I really don't think I need guidance. I'm going to go with this, though. I, I like the idea that the Thorn Whip can pull a target to you. Eh, maybe I'll have a use for... Maybe I'll have a use for these guys. We'll see. All right. Let's get on with this. We've been at this already a long time. And uh, Will is now level three. Let's go have a chat with Withers. Okay, Withers. Whoop, 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 whoop. Not this one. Nor this one. And this one are less worthy still. Okay. More riddles from my resident jester? Or oh, let's not be mocking. Writing the balance. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, ah. held in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. Gotcha. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Um... I don't know if I trust Withers. Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Um. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Okay. All right. All right. Let's talk about it then. Very well. Oh. I'm... I'm not ready to hire anybody just yet. Let's, let's save that for later. I hope I get a chance to do that again later. I really do. All right, guys. Let's... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the long rest and get everything restored, and then we should be ready to go. Yep, it's a done deal. Oh, why am I... Life is just full of weirdness. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess that's my jammies talking. Uh, who wants to talk to me? Um... Oh, it's Will. A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. Hooray. How do you feel? Nervous. Confident. Surprisingly fine. It's natural to suffer a touch of worry, but an illithid worm should be causing more than mild anxiety before the illithids unscheduled surgery 
I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. That's true. We could probably dig up some poison mushrooms if you're that keen. <laughs> Alright, why haven't we? Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Do you have Let's a plan? Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. That's kind of what I was hoping you'd say. Okay, nobody else wants to talk to me, please? <sighs> okay. Who? There's nothing up here that tells me who wants to talk to me, so... Let's go see if it's her. Is it? Ah, uh, okay. oh no, who is this? Oh, it is. It's Asterion. Okay. Do you mind? I was rather enjoying my view of the ceiling. Good. I'll forgive you. I'm mostly just thinking anyway. Reflecting yeah. on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid. Will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? I sure hope so. Probably. Once the worm is gone, I'm going my own way. Yes. A pity. A great pity. Not Look, interested. Yeah, after all, traversing Avernus, surviving the crash, surviving everything that's followed. I'm not normally impressed by people of your stature, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Uh, just trying to survive. You're too close. I, uh, you know what? Yes. We're more similar than oh, I Oh, don't push it, buddy. Yeah, I'm leaving. Sleep tight. I'll see you later. I'm sure. Yeah, not interested in what the devs have in mind here. I'm just not. This is a family-friendly playthrough, just in case you've forgotten the realities. Okay. Let's make sure. Can, can I go to bed? Can I, can I go to bed? Because I want to camp. Okay. I'm going back up. I, I really wasn't planning on... on oh, i got to talk to both of these. Okay, let's start with Lizelle. Galek. I remember who I was in Kreshkalir. I was hungry to face my first geich. My sword pined for their blood. Okay. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. I don't know what that means. Uh, you want to do battle up where? Let's go with that. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Mm. Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in crashes all throughout realm space. Kalir is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vaj's command. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. That is, uh... Your opinion here. Okay, hey, uh, Shadowheart, we have a chat. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. It is not the clear. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Um. Okay, let's head go. Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Perfect. Let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? Mm, I really don't want to probe her thoughts. Um, how do I? How do I not customize the dice? Wait a minute. What? Oh, that's. 
I I do like the scuffed metal. But <laughs> so you know what? I'm leaving it on that one for a while. Um, I really had no intention of... Fine, I'll click to roll a dice. I, I had no intention of probing her mind. Maybe I could have hit escape. You I didn't try that. You find the current of hope flowing through her thoughts. She believes you all have a real chance. Good, let's leave. She's anxious to find this person in Baldur's Gate. Whoever it is has a strong hold over her and can give her something she desperately wants. We should get some rest. Good night. Thank you. Can, can I can I go to bed now? That's that's kind of what I was hoping for. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be really really good. Okay. Camp supplies. Auto select does the trick. We rest. Then we can go and we can examine uh, this camp out spot. Everybody's rested. We all got uh, got our powers back and all that other stuff. Good deal. Let's leave camp. Can we do that? Leaving camp. Tiefling hideout. We are at the base of the ladder that we just came down. Uh, is there anything in here? Wait, 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 wait. There is, uh, there's a wicker chest. Let's go. Can I not? You can't reach this. Why can I not reach? Oh. Yeah. Who can jump the furthest? That's what I want to know. Um, 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 jumpy jump. Where's the jump? Where's the jump? There's the jump in here somewhere. It's not me. Jump. Target is too far. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Cancel. Cancel. Asterion. Um, come here. Come here. Okay. Uh, now, don't fall in, but I do want you to... Uh, I guess you're not jumping either. Okay, hold on. What do we have here? Somebody's going to be able to jump this. Uh, you come over here, and we'll get Gale. Gale, come here. There we go. Now, target is too far. Da 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 da. All right, fine. Will? I want to have you. Oh, stop. No. <laughs> Need to have Will. Of the gate. Uh, I want to have Will over here. And can you jump? Nobody can jump. So what do I do? I guess nothing. And All right. Looking ahead. Need to find a way forward. Okay. Well, the way forward appears to be. Oh, should we hide? It is a tiefling hideout, after all. Maybe I'll just save it and go on in. All right, see, we got uh, got some stuff. Uh, we have Silphy and Zaki and Melly. And is this where? Let me see the map here. Is this the Temple of Saloon? Find the Night Song, rescue the Druid Halson. We got to do that. Goblin camp and find the Githyanki Patrol. Hmm. All right. Well, we got. I get. Oh, Maul. I need to go talk to Maul. Uh, Maul is over there. Are you Maul? Pockets to pick. Come here, Maul. We're gonna have a chat. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Mm -hmm. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. Um, <laughs> you know what? I am happy to help, but I'm hoping I get more conversation. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, risky. Thought you might need help with something. Do you have anything to trade? Hmm. Let's start with this. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Why? 
You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? Uh, definitely going to tell you stealing from me is wrong. I do not want to... What's the 35 here? I want to invest in the newest Thieves Guild on the Sword Coast. 35. Um, well, I mean, I'm inclined to go with number one. I'm not sure it's going to do much good. I would like, rather... What kind of trade can we do? Ah, uh, scroll of enlarge. Make a creature larger or smaller. Arrow of Ilmatar. Gold. Scroll of a nice knife. Don't need that. A metal fork. Toy block. Thieves tools. Elixir of vigilance. Hmm, heroism. I mean, all of these might be really, really handy, but I'm just not really interested. Level one tiefling. Yeah. So what? Should we be panicking like everyone else? We have a plan. We're the ones who'll end up on top in the gate. Anything else? Uh, not for me. I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. Yeah, not happening. Uh, I'm not involved in that. Figures. Don't think you've got the stones for the job anyhow. Anything else? Yeah, we've already done. Do you have anything to trade? Um, That's worth 156 gold. I'm not really uh, intrigued by that. 196 gold. I think we're probably not going to get anything. Okay. Anything else? No. I'm done. You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Okay. You know what I want to know, however? Not long until we leave. That's Darian. Don't touch me. <laughs> Nobody's touching you. Here, let's have a, a chat with Zaki. You don't look so tough. Malfoy of a hobgoblin all by herself. Clearly a child. Okay. Step quick. Millie? You're the first grown-up who's ever gotten in here. Not bad. It's uh, it's not that hard, I think. Um, let's see. Ooh, I have an idea. Uh, come here. Now, uh, you are. Well, Gail, I was just getting ready to... Boring in here. Okay, never mind. Uh, I thought I could do... Whoop! Nope. I thought I could do something there. Let's Shouldn't take me. Wish to live in more interesting times. And I wonder if... Um... Have to keep going. Okay, would Melly talk to kind me? Kind of short for an adult, aren't you? Yes. Oh, I remember you. You're the one who got me in trouble with Icaron. <laughs> you Hardly. want something? Were you just here to stare at my forehead? I'm tempted to just stare at his forehead. Yeah, okay, fine. Very funny. What do you want? Your approval means bunches to me, complete stranger. Now find yourself a maze and get lost. I'm busy. I can see you're busy. <laughs> Alright, find yourself a maze and get lost. I'm, I'm kind of fond of that. You don't look so tough. Malfoy of a yep. hobgoblin we all by herself. had this conversation earlier. All right, nothing going on here. Um, who else? Oh, Sylphie. Maybe we should go to Sylphie, huh? Hi, Sylphie. I need new pockets. Oh. Hello again. Um, Mole's in charge here, not me. Yep, we noticed that. Um, okay, who else is... Ooh, go here. Well, I should probably try to go there, but I can't. Maul's over there. Melee's over here. Astarian. Sylphie. And who's... Oh, that's Zaki. Well... Oh, there is a book. Hidden Rules of Baldur's Gate. In another time and in a place, 
Rilsa Rael would be celebrated as revolutionary. In Baldur's Gate, in her own lifetime, she's known as a crime lord, a kingpin of the guild ruling over the city within a city that is the district of Little Kalamashan. I'm just going to let this be read by you when you hit pause. Um, okay, that's, that's, that's nice. I can appreciate that there's some lore. I'm not sure that I want to do anything with it. Okay. Asterion, I need you once again, Asterion, to come down here. And I need you now to hide. Let's keep to the shadows. Nothing in there. Okay. Now. Let's see. Uh, not not that. I think I'm done I think I'm done skulking about. I am curious though. Is there anything over there? There doesn't appear Oh, wait, I wonder if the mage hand could open that. Yes. Never see us coming. And I guess there's nothing else down here. This is really a small place. I guess uh going up here. And I would rather this be uh me in charge. Okay. How do I get lost? Here we go. Ooh. A hole. That might be worth a look. The hollow. Uh. Come here. Come on. There we go. Let's let's step over here. I want to look around. Oh, we're behind a waterfall, I think. Okay. Uh, well, let's go up the ladder with four hit points on the ladder. Ah, and there is Mattis. Hey, you're back. Here to buy some stuff? What a trade. Here's what I got. Now... Is there anything that he's got that I want? No, there isn't. Uh, and those are the rings. Goodbye. What? what do you think? Good stuff, right? It's all pretty terrible. You spot the boy giving a sly wink as he turns away. Mm hmm Yeah, I've, I've probably been robbed again. And that's Rachel again. All right, well, back down the hole. At least we now know what's going on here. Uh, is there a way for me to get up higher? No, and I don't think there's any reason to. All right, go here. Go here. Can I not? Oh, uh, that is... Whoa! Uh, that is way far away. I guess it's time for me to... I guess once again... Take the group and uh, get me out of here. How do I get... How do I get... I guess we're going down. All right. And then up. Is this... Well, we didn't go down this way. Or try to. Hmm... Nothing, nothing there, and I'm not getting the feeling that there's anything. Uh. All right, well. All right, those wooden crates are kind of empty. Over here, where is... They were all separate. Okay, guys, get over here. Where is Asteria? Come here. Careful, I bind. All right, let's wait for her to go by. Oh, they all don't like Asteria. 
All right. <laughs> I don't care. Can't give up now. One day I'll catch a break. All right. Now let's go up and try to figure out one more time. I want to see if that uh, spell with the magician's hand can move that crate. I don't know if that's what that's for. But uh, come here, guys. I want to try. I think I've got it. Haven't I got it? Um. No. Also no. And further no. And not a no. Okay. Neil's got it. Hasn't he? Okay. No. Let's try Gale. Not my magic. Ah. Not enough space. Ready and choose a man. Uh, okay. I guess it can't reach. I, what am I? I, I don't. Hmm. Can't be added to the inventory. I guess I can't do anything. Oh, this was a waste. It was a total waste. Correct me. All right. Well, so be it. I guess. Feet can carry me. Up the ladder we go, and we go back out. Uh, that was. I don't think I really accomplished anything that I wanted to accomplish. Nothing there, right? Uh, there is a hammer. I'm going to take it. Zeph, what are you going to say? We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. True. Okay, now, I, if I go back to J, it does give me the main quest. Um, hold on. Find your belongings. It's time to get our stuff back. I don't know how. Hmm. Let me think about this. Maybe if I go back down there and try to strike up a conversation with... Whatever her name is. Um... Where is it? The concealed hatch. Where is it at? Oh, right there. All right. One more time, I'm going to try this and see if I can have a conversation with Ball. Maybe they don't like Gale, but maybe if I switch to Will? The pride of the gate. Sure, why not? I had a feeling you'd be back. Oh, yeah, we're here. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Boulder's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? Won't turn down free money. I've got operating costs you wouldn't believe. Mm -hmm. Come see me in the city sometime, huh? I'll repay this and then some. Oh, I bet. See you around, maybe. Never see us coming. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to get my stuff back when there doesn't appear to be anything here. That's finding Arabella's parents and saving the refugees. That's finding the Githyanki Kresh and the Githyanki Warrior. And... I have not seen any way to get across that chasm because I wonder if that's where my stuff is at. Hmm. Let's, uh. Best foot forward. What's this? Fables of Fable. There were once two sisters one a great fighter and one a great cleric who longed for new adventure. I shall skewer an elder brain upon my sword, cried the fighter, to the Underdark. I wish to know the secrets of the brain's Lots powers, said the cleric. Let's be off. Here. In the recesses of the deep, the sisters slew darklings and darrow, bugbears and bullets. The two reached an illithid colony where the fourth ten day passed. Their quest would soon be complete. With great effort, they fell to half dozen mind flayers and soon reached the elders, the elder brain's lair. 
It rose from the brine pool at the center of its chamber, flanked by illithids. The brain didn't speak aloud, but the sisters could hear it in their minds. I'm called Not Chaos. Why have you come? Now. I will make your powers my own, called the cleric. I will crush you and bring an end to your tyranny, said the fighter. The brain hovered in silence. A moment later, a burst of psionic energy took, shook the chamber and the sisters lay dead. Good luck, Chaos replied. The illithids feasted heartily that day. What a dark tale. Okay, um... Maul. I had a feeling you'd be back. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Can I... You've not... been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Yeah, let me switch over here and be myself. These things have stayed interesting. I had a feeling you'd be back. Yes, I'm back. It's me. Hello. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to... Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? You've been a friend to us. Huh. Come back any time. All right, so I am not sure. There's, There's got to be something that I don't know about, and I don't... Under oh, moving in. There is a spot over here. For me to climb. <clears throat> is it just lookout territory? Uh, it appears to be. Oh, unless I jump. Oh, I wonder if... All right. Where could I jump to from here? I don't think I can actually jump up there too high. Hmm. Target's too far. Come here. Now I have an idea. That maybe jumping across some of these would be a way to move. Oh, 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 come here. So, we're traveling with the famed blade. Stop, of stop, stop. I, I didn't. I feel safer already. Yeah, quit. Um, and now I see the thief stash. So, Asterion, I need you to do the cunning action. That's my stuff. I think that's my stuff. Isn't it? I really don't know what they took from me, so I guess I'm kind of guessing. I have a lot on my mind. Um, well, in it. Alright, there is nothing I can do there. Uh, how do I get back out of here? One this way. Stab. Right? Not here? Not here. Sorry, it's the one way around. Oh, golly. Alright, climb up. And take a look around. I come over here. Can I still climb up here? Can I? Oh, no. Ah, come here. Okay, that's just kind of moving. Can I jump there? No. Hmm. It feels like something that should work, but I cannot. Cannot figure it out. There's a rope. What happens if I grab the standing torch? Uh, <laughs> I put the lights out. All right. Hmm. Let me think about this for a minute. Will the Tiefling hideout proves to be nothing that I can really benefit from. So, let's take a look at the map real quick and see. Uh, save Arabella, find her parents. They are over here, perhaps. So, um, I guess there's really nothing else nearby, so I don't, I would like to see this area. Whoop, 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 cancel. But that is something we can do later. Let's go save Arabella. Uh, find a map. Where am I at here? Concealed hash. We're gonna come through. Forge the Grove. I guess.
Okay, is this Arabella's parents? Oh, it is. Arabella, we'll start with you. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. <laughs> Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. I don't either. I'm not like that. Number two, I saved your daughter. Got anything more than a thanks for me? This could have ended badly. Keep her in line. No more light-fingered antics, right, Arabella? You know what? Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. Snake Whisperer. And I received Camira's Locket. Grants its no one does. Grants its wearer the ability to cast dancing lights. That's what Mole says. I think. Oh, except. I don't care what Mole says. Let's um by the way, I've got room for uh engrave the words for Papa. That's sweet. I am gonna switch it out though. Definitely. And I need to find a ring. But, you know, we'll look at that in a little bit. Kamira, what do you got to say? Because of you, I got my little girl back. That's not something I'll forget. Good. How about you, Locke? The road to Baldur's Gate looks a little less daunting now that we're all back together. All right. Got lots of quests. They're going to take us from here to there the next time. Um, Magran, I think I can give you a fish. Somebody gets a fish. Don't worry about me. Um, can I inventory? Can I find a fish? Do I have a fish? I don't think I have a... Yeah, I got no fish. Never mind. And this is a way that I don't think I've gone, is it? Let me see the map. Uh. Hello? My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? If that's... Well, met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Uh... <laughs> Number two actually kind of matters. Pretty words. If you want to threaten me, don't disguise it. Walk away while you still have legs to walk with. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. Gotcha. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come. That seems bad. Hold on. There. Middle of somewhere. Uh. Take me back now. Reach for your weapon. Can you be more specific? Well, you know what? Diplomacy says... Let's start with the place. The House of Hope. Where the tired come to rest. And the famished come to feed lavishly. I would Go eat that. On, partake. Enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Are you not entertained? No. Well, far be it from me to disappoint. Okay. 
What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you a do. A devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. We'll see. I don't care what you are, I care what you want. I'm actually kind of inclined to go there. I'm not ready to draw my weapon just yet, for that would be a fight that I'm not ready to take on. What makes you think I need saving? Why would you help me? I don't care what you are, I care what you want. A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull two tenants and no solution in sight very true i could fix it all like that by killing me probably mm. you're mad if you think i'll make a deal with the devil now that is very much me then fix it or die at my hand no no i need to think this over i'm also a very thoughtful person i tend to i tend to weigh all of the options before i do absolutely anything and sometimes that makes it look like I'm doing things extremely slowly. I'll do anything to get rid of this tadpole. Um, no, I wouldn't do anything. So it's two or three. Two or three? Two or three? Two or three. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg. Borrow and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I am really baffled by how to respond to this. First of all, in this universe, I don't know if the tieflings are really, you know, the devil, or if just because they look like that, people call them that. So, so number one, we have an identity crisis going on here. Uh, number two, I am not the kind of uh, individual who will say, I'll have the last laugh at the end, uh, or rip out your mocking tongue. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually far more inclined to want to understand things than I am to just leap to judgment. So let me just ask the question, how would I find you? I'll be around watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. Hmm. I'll be there when it runs out. Raphael. Okay, then. That was um, what I would call interesting, <laughs> to say the very least. Uh, let me look backwards. There's a couple of bears. I don't know that there's anything else in that camp that I need to do. Let me take a look at the map now. I was going to see. This is the road we're going off on. And do I want to take a look over here? I kind of want to take a look over here because this looks like it's going to lead me off into the distance. And this one looks like it's going to take me to a known location, perhaps. Let's see. Okay. Uh... Hi, Alpira. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. How can I put this? This sounded a little unpolished. I should rather stay silent and listen. That would be the respectful thing to do. 
Change? No. Damn it! It's not the time for music. There's no singing voice that can save those lyrics. You know that, right? That is cruel. No. I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song. I can't... Nothing fits. You know? Um... That is the creative process for you. Mostly agony. Uh, better swap that loot for a weapon. You'll need one soon enough. Um, let me think about this here. Because I know that you can have musicians in this world with magical instruments, right? So, uh, let me see if I can help. Mm, it can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. I don't, I don't know what that is. What's the song about? Hand me that loot. We can perform together. I am not very qualified. Oh, this ought to be fun. Uh, Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain oh my will goodness. fade away. Uh, performance. 1d20 plus one from charisma. Slip the loot into your pack here. I don't have time for this. Oh, we're going for the performance. I have got to know. Difficulty class 15. We are adding a bonus. Mm, knowledge of the ages. Definitely going to do that. Can I add both? No, I can only add one or the other. So, let's do it. Oh, oh that was bad. I'm actually inclined to uh, to try this again, even though this is not a very important, perhaps, thing. It seems... That's just bad. That's just bad. It seems like it's not important, but I wonder if it is. That was interesting. Why don't we try again? <laughs> that was interesting. Why don't we try again? Yeah. Um, do I get another roll? I'm going to roll. I want to roll. All right. Ten. Oh, for crying out loud. Not good. Not good. Uh, do I get one more try? Do Look, I, get... um, I really appreciate the help, but I think I should continue on my own. Thanks anyway. Well, I received Lahala's loot. So, there's that. I did try. It would have been nice if... Uh, oh, a gilded chest. Oh, uh, no, wait a minute. Somebody's got a, somebody's got a lock opening thing here. Is it... Is it... Is it Will? Yeah, you're right, hard. Um, da, 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 da. Let's... Oh, somebody just got that. Let me look for it. All I can think of is that Astarian's got lockpicking tools. And it's locked. That's not it. With pleasure. Okay, now he needs a 10. And he's got, oh my goodness, look at this. Two, four, uh, seven, eight. We're in. So sleight of hand, I think, was maybe what I was thinking of. Okay. A cap of curing. When you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, they also regain 1 to 6 hit points. Gale can absorb this item's magic, destroying it. <gasps> oh. That's interesting. Can I right-click that and send it to... Oh, do I dare put it in Gale's hands? I'm going to do it. Just for whatever. All right. I, I don't think that I'm going to be using any bardic songs. So, is there anything down there for me? No. No? Okay. Now, how do I get out of here? Um, who is... the? Mo oh, Orm is down there having a blast, I guess. Um, I need... Da -da -da -da. What is that? What is that equipment? I don't know what that is. Okay. 
this is Alfreya. Do we want to have? I kind of want to have Will need. talk to her. A word, if I may. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and peg. It sounded like a cat being strangled. God damn it! Violence doesn't fix everything, you know. Music can help in ways a silly blade can't. Fair enough, Besides, I suppose. I'm not doing this for me. This is for the people I... We lost on the way here. It's important. It is important. <laughs> I am not going to do that. Oh, I wonder if he should finish. Because he had high charisma. Yeah. It can't hurt. What do you have in mind? Um. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her. Dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble. Like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Keep going. Not encouragement and gesture to her loot. That... That it's okay. That I'll be okay. And thank you for everything. All the love I can't repay. Wait. She's got it figured out, maybe? I mean, I've got the loot. I'm not sure what to do with it. But... So, that was very interesting. I will try to gain that up in post-processing because 
I think because I have the music set so low, that was quite hard to hear. Worthy of a few tears. No need to be sorry, though it still needs work. Well, would you look at this grove? So lovely, so grove-like. Uh, no. No, we're going to go with this one. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. Wow, some of these answers are so harsh. Uh, I'm sure your teacher would be proud to see you now. She'd yell at me for that clunky verse and make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn for her. I've a long way to go. But thank you. Uh, I needed this. Excellent. Well, I'm glad that we could provide a little bit of something good in the midst of Heading all out. of this. Man, this has been a uh, kind of eventful, kind of not eventful episode. It's kind of hard to determine exactly, but uh, I think I've been kind of everywhere here, right? We're going to go off to the right, but that's something that we're going to have to do the next time. This episode has gone on long enough. Thanks for putting up with this. This has been uh, me trying really hard well, to figure out how to play this game still. Bad as it could have. There's quite a bit more to learn. But that's something that we will come together to do the next time. Thank you for joining me. I am the Preacher. This is Baldur's Gate 3. As family-friendly as I can possibly make it, please join me for the rest of this journey. I will see you the next time.